Hi, this is just a quickie uh, to give you some helpful hints about how you might start with your roosters um, once you get them. Uh, these are some that I did for the acrylics uh, classes that I teach. But uh, before I did those, I did some quick sketches in my sketchbook. Uh, just to get value and rhythm and just kind of get some gesture going. I want you to know that the, the body of a, a rooster is a lot of ovals. Even the plume has an oval feel to it. Uh, the thighs are more kind of a little bit of a triangle. But uh, there's that. And then I, I kind of implied value. Didn't do a great job on these sketches, but that's okay because I felt I got them with my uh, paintings. Um, but I did these. See the movement of just the ovals? There's an oval here. There's an oval here. But one of the things I want you to notice is that there are... On these profile images, it's like a V to get started. You can put this into perspective this way. Their heads are kind of small. Little pea brains, I guess. And uh, their eyes are on the sides of their heads. Let's see if I have another one. I don't have another one there. I did these... These quick sketches, I'm taking a course online and um, it, it's called Hashtags 21 a Week. week. Um, and to do seven days of five minute sketches. And so I did these as one of my days. Uh, and it's the same thing, just getting kind of ovals going. Do you see that? And there's the V on that one. These are just five-minute sketches, but do you see how, a lo I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say it this way, but do you see how they can feel alive because there's a lot of energy in the quick sketches? They're not done with just making um, marks and, and having to have a stiff uh, sketch of what you're going to start with because if you do that, then your painting, it'll, uh, if you start with a sketch that's stiff, your painting will look stiff too. Just wanted to have you see these uh, before I send the video tomorrow.